This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with changing the, vari the uh, diverter motor on the LG dishwasher. And to do this we're going to take out the baskets, the lower basket and the upper basket. And then we're going to remove some of these screws here that are on the sump filter assembly. And one of them is really short. They're at the back and then there's some longer ones. First we'll remove the lower spray arm by taking out two Phillips head screws. And we can just lift the spray arm straight up. And there we go. And underneath we see the sump assembly filter. So we're going to remove this one little screw. And I think there's maybe six longer screws that we have to remove. Make sure we unplug it or turn off the breaker. So we have no chance of getting shocked. Get all these screws out. And then we're going to make sure we unloosen these clips that are holding on this tube that brings water to the upper spray arm, the top spray arm. And we're going to wiggle it out to the left and then pull it out, get that out, out of position. We can lift up on the housing. Now we just lift straight up on the diverter. Get that out of the way. And we're going to use a uh, going to use a turkey baster to get out some of the water that's in the sump. So we're going to get the machine over on its side. And then we're going to remove some of these screws that are holding it into the cabinet. There might be a couple on the top or a couple on the side. Uh, this dishwasher was just being held in by friction, so I'm just going to wiggle it out. I'm going to make sure we disconnect the drain line from either the garbage disposer <coughs> underneath the sink or from the air gap. We've already got it unplugged. And we may need to remove the water supply. This one had a long enough water supply line, so I didn't remove it. All I did is put down a towel and then just set the dishwasher down on its side. So I would have um, pretty easy ability to get to the diverter motor. Here's the diverter, diverter motor right here. It's held in by a couple of screws and it has a little power connector that we've already removed. We're going to zip this thing off. And then we can just put on the new one. This little part here is a sensor that kind of senses where the diver diverter motor is. And you can replace this too. You can just Pull it out. This is the old one. So we've got the new diverter motor in. We're just putting the sump assembly back in. Got it back on its feet. Everything's been reinstalled. And we're going to put the drain line back on. Get that tight. Plug it back in. Turn the water back on. And then we'll give it a little test, make sure there's no leaks. The diverter motor was uh, leaking. There's a little seal that you can buy that's really cheap that you can replace and just put in from the, from the top. You don't have to remove the dishwasher and that can get rid of the leak. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.